Okay, welcome back to Accounting Grade 12 Masterclass. Uh, today we are doing November 2018, uh, question 6. Question 6, which was written in November 2018, was based on cash budgets. was based on cash budget we always advise our students that they, you need to have a question paper in front of you for you to be able to follow the lesson the question paper that we need is a November 2018 question paper and this is question 6 based on a cash budget and it is said here Donald May owns Breezy. Donald May owns Breezy traders that sell air conditioner units. The budget period ends on the 31st of October 2018. You are required 6.1. Complete the data's collection schedule for October 2018 for 7 marks. Right. We know that in accounting we have total sales and we say that total sales is 100%. Total sales, when the business is selling, you will then have total sales. Total sales is 100%. And then out of the total sales, we have cash sales and what and credit sales the total sales are divided into two for most businesses very few businesses only sell for cash for most businesses uh, from the total sales you have your cash sales and what and your credit sales if your cash sales for example like here in this activity the cash sales under information we are told that cash sales comprises 60% of the total sale. So our cash sales here is 60% of the total sales, which then makes it clear that therefore the 40% is credit sales. Our credit sales is 40%. Total sales is 100%. And according to information A, we are told that the cash sales is 60%, which then suggests that our credit sales is 40 percent so when you are doing a budget it's very easy to budget for the cash sales because the cash sales they just go straight to the cash budget because it is when you are selling and you receive cash same time but the challenge is with the credit sales when you are selling goods on credit you do not receive cash at the same time so therefore for us to be able to budget for the credit sales, it is important for a business that you need to do a debtors collection schedule based on the past experiences as to how has the business been collecting from the debtors. If you look at information B, we are told there that debtors pays as follows. Debtors pays as follows. We have 20% in the month of sale 20% in the month of sale to receive 5% discount there is 5% discount 20% in the month of sale is collected from the debtors and then you have 55% and after 55% you have 22% that's the first collection this is the second collection and this is the third collection and if you look at these percentages we are expecting that 20 percent of the people who purchased goods on credit from us will pay us back in the month of sale and therefore those people will then be entitled to a five percent discount and then 55 percent will be in the month following the month of sale and 22 percent will be in the second month following the month of sale but if you add all the three percentages 20 plus 55 will give you 75 and then plus 22 it will then give you 97 you can see that this business is expecting that only 3% will be written off as bad debts. It's just only 3%.
we are expecting to collect 97% of our monies from the debtors and 3% will then be written off. So let us then go to the debtors collection schedule that was given in your answer sheet. This is the information that is in your answer sheet. And what is it that we are required to do as per 6.1 is, co is to complete the debtors collection schedule for October 2018. We need to fill in October. September has already been done for us, so we need to fill in October. Right. So we have the credit sales provided in the debtors collection schedule. We have the month. These are the credit sales for July. The credit sales for July, it is 369,600. August, 384,400. And we are expecting to sell on credit in September for 403,200. And October, we are expecting to sell on credit for 420,000. So let us now look at the collection here according to the percentages we have been given there in information b let's look at let's start with july those people who bought on credit from us in july according to this collection 20 percent will be collected in july 55 percent will be collected in august and then 22% will be collected in September because we have only three collection and the first collection is within the month of sale. So it means from the people who purchased on credit from us in July, there is nothing to be collected from them in October because they would have finished paying because it's going to be July, that's the month of sale, July, August and September. We have only three collections. Right, let's then go to the credit sales for August. Credit sales for August, the first collection will be in August. So that will be August. Second collection, September. And then the third collection will be in October. So we do have the third collection. And according to the percentages given, the third collection is 22%. So then we need to calculate how much are we going to are we expecting to receive from them from the people who bought from us in august how much are we expecting to receive in october so the credit sales for august amounts to 384,400 384,400 and then the first collection will be in August, the second collection in September, and the third collection will be in October. And the percentage for the third collection is 22%. So 384,400 multiplied by 22%. That will be 84,568. 84, 568 we are expecting to receive 84,568 from the people uh, who purchased on credit from us during the month of August we are expecting to receive 84,568 in October right let us then go to September credit sales the first collection for September credit sales will be in September that will be 20 percent and the second collection will then be in october and then the last collection will be in november so in october it is the second collection so let's go to the credit sales the credit sales is 403,000 for september 403,200 the credit sales is 403,200 right the first collection is 20 percent which will be in september and october will be the second collection and that is 55 percent 403,200 multiplied by 55 percent multiplied by 55 percent that is giving us 221,760 221,760 and we are still expecting to collect something uh, in, in November but our budget period ends in October so we are only doing October right let's go to October credit sales is there anything are we going to receive from the people who purchase from us in October during the month of September the answer is no there is nothing we are going to uh, get from them because they had 
uh, not yet purchased from us they purchased from us in october so the first collection will then be in october so the first collection will be in october and according to this the first collection is 20 percent in the month of sale and therefore those debtors will be entitled to a five percent discount so let us then calculate the first collection 420,000 420,000 credit sales for October and then multiply by 20% 420,000 multiplied by 20% that is 84,000 20% of 420,000 is 84,000 but still these debtors will be entitled to a 5% discount so the calculation is going to be 420,000 multiplied by 20% multiply by 95% that's the discount the discount is 5% so we are not going to get 100% of the 84,000 we are going to get only 95% because of the 5% discount so it's 420,000 multiplied by 20% multiplied by 95% multiplied by 95% equals to 79,800 so this is 79,800 so now lastly we have to work on the total we have to work on the total it's going to be 84,000 84,568 84,568 plus 221,000 760 plus 79,800 that's 79,800 so the total amount that we are expecting to receive in October is 386,128 386,128 that is will be the collection from debtors for October and this collection from debtors will then be transferred to our cash budget and we will know that in the month of October we are expecting to collect from the debtors a total amount of 386,128 so that is the debtors collection schedule what is important for learners to understand when they are doing the debtors collection schedule they must be very clear as to how are we collecting from the debtors and the most important thing is when do we start collecting from them for example uh, other transaction will say the first collection is 20 percent in the month following the month of sale so it means if a debtor has purchased from us in august the first collection will be in September. So, but this one, it says 20% in the month of sale. It means um, when the, the credit sales for October, we will have the first collection in October because 20% is in the month of sale. But if you have made a mistake with that one, to, 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 you must make sure whether it's the, in the first collection, is it in the month of sale or is it in the month following the month of sale so that everything may be correct because once you miss that the whole calculation is going to be wrong so this is the data's collection schedule